today's recipe is probably going to be the easiest one yet. Today I'm making a spicy braised eggplant dish, which only uses a few ingredients and it's great for cold weather um, during the winter months. And uh, I hope you like it. Ingredients are really simple. So one medium sized eggplant, um, some spring onions and some sesame seeds for garnish. Um, this one is a mixture of onions and garlic. So I've got half an onion here and five cloves of garlic. Now for the spicy paste, we need some Korean chili pepper along with some sesame oil. And there's two options here. If you're on a normal diet, you can go soy sauce. If you're on a low sodium diet, then I highly recommend a co coconut amino acid as a substitute. Okay, so let's get started. So I'm gonna cut the eggplant in four. And then just slice it up. So if I just do it like that. Heat the pan and add some oil. Okay, so when the oil is hot, then you put in the eggplant. I like frying the eggplant because that gives an extra flavor to it. Fry the eggplant until soft, which takes about five to seven minutes. So while the eggplant's frying, let's make the chili paste. So Korean chili pepper, two tablespoons. Sesame oil, one tablespoon. Soy sauce or coconut amino acid. Today I am using coconut amino acid, but as mentioned, if you're on a normal diet, then use some soy sauce. So that's going to be also one tablespoon. Mix it up into a paste and then add a bit of water. So what I like to do is I like to put the onions and the garlic together in here. Mix that all up. Okay, after five minutes, the eggplant should be nice and soft. And that's when you put in your chili paste. And then you have to cook the paste with all that eggplant. And by now you can really smell that chili spicy, garlicky, onion goodness. So add some water. Turn the fire down to low. Cover the pan. Let it braise there for about five minutes, but by now your kitchen's gonna smell amazing. Ho ho ho, look at that. Spicy braised eggplant, perfect for winter. Garnish. Just gonna use some spring onions. Finally, some white sesame seed. Just garnish it like that. Okay, I think it's time for a taste test. Mm. Mm. Simply not too spicy. So I guess the key here is, if you like it more spicy, you can add more chili pepper, but if you um, prefer it not to be too spicy, then reduce the chili pepper. So this is normally a side dish in Korean food, but I am going to make it a main dish because it's just so good. So if you enjoyed this recipe, please don't forget to hit like and subscribe, and also do comment below because I would like to hear from you. I would like to hear if you tried this recipe, what your thoughts are, and whether there are anything that I could improve on. So let me know. Cheers, guys.